the iPad has all of the world's learning in it. And access to that at your fingertips seems to open up some new door to some new knowledge. It transforms you. Chicago Public Schools is the third largest district in the U.S. The iPad has created enthusiasm and excitement in our classrooms here at CPS. It's something that you can hold in your hands. It's not heavy. All of the applications, the access to the internet, the research that can be done, being able to outfit so many of our kids with a low-cost machine could be a, a real advantage for a district. I have some students that are struggling with learning their letters and sounds, and with the Super Y app, for example, they're able to hear the letter, trace the letter, so there's a lot of repetition that's helping them catch on. One letter? E. E. They're spelling words that I didn't think they knew how to spell, and I'm always like, wow, who spelled that like I did? Yes. We make apps for early childhood through grade school that are both engaging and educational. We felt Super Y was a natural fit for the iPad. And it's a great tool for learning how to read, learning how to write, to help kids get engaged in the learning anytime, anywhere. And the iPad makes that possible. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm in eighth grade, and the Elements app got me more interested in chemistry. I thought science was boring, chemistry just wasn't fun, it didn't make sense. But I got this app that's not written like a normal textbook. It's interactive and it's written like in a more kid-friendly way. I am a visual learner, and when I can really see the element, it helps me because then I can really visualize how it's used in everyday life. Emma's able to go to the iPad and figure out her own learning style and her own needs and which app best meets those needs. The iPad has helped Emma learn. It's kept her engaged and I think it's excited her. Using the Elements app for my iPad is not required, it's not homework, but it's just fun to do and it's extra learning. And I got an A plus in science. My name is Malik Granada. This is my third year in medical school. I think the future of medicine is going to be not so much how much knowledge you can hold in your head, but how much knowledge you can put your hands on and access at any given point in time. The iPad expands the creativity and intellectual curiosity of students. As a neuroscientist and as a medical educator, one of the challenges that I saw students facing constantly was just the breadth of the information that they had to master, and they had to master it so quickly. The iPad allows the student to compress 50 pounds worth of books and cards and atlases into a single application that they can carry with them. It allows students to customize that content for their own learning needs and give them a really personalized learning experience. Instead of having to buy a new textbook every year, you can just download the most up-to-date content in real time. They write another chapter. You just download that chapter, replace your old chapter. The iPad changes fundamentally the way I learn. It's kind of like my portable knowledge base. It makes life a whole lot simpler. I am surprised by how much in a short period of time the iPad has changed how I teach. I use it literally every day. It makes the learning, I think, more accessible to the students. We use it a lot in terms of having to pull up the internet, looking up articles, things that are relevant to what we're learning in class, the terms that we're looking up through the book. It has engaged me in the class and it has improved my learning a lot because, you know, it's information at your fingertips. I can, on the Inkling text, leave notes to them. It's overlaid on the content. They immediately see those notes that I leave and they can refer back to that. All of my experience in higher education, which totals up to almost 50 years, I've never seen anything that changed the landscape the way this has. 
The iPad has transformed the way our faculty are looking at learning and looking at how they transmit knowledge. It is going to make the biggest difference in the way students acquire, interact with, and use knowledge. It's a little bit like the Oxford English Dictionary must have been greeted when it first was published and people say, oh, look at this treasure trove, or an encyclopedia. And they're both in the iPad at your fingertips. Now you have something that goes beyond anything that people could have imagined.